Happy release day to Boss Synthesizer SY1. Check that. Floss. Looks like a CS2, my favorite pedal. Brand CS3. new Boss Synthesizer pedal. So we got an email from our friends at Boss maybe a month or two ago that was like, hey, we got something really cool we're working on that we think is going to like you guys are going to flip for and you're going to ditch your other boss synth pedals for this guy. And I was like, hmm, okay. And here's what we have. But didn't we think it was going to be a lot bigger? Well, so, because you say that, yeah, our buddy Matt was like, yeah, it's a compact version of the SY300, which, do you, have you played this fucking monster? This thing's insane. This is like command center. So when he's and, and I've toured with this and this thing's crazy LCD screen the whole thing MIDI. I don't. Does it have MIDI? I don't know. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> uh, but anyways, this thing's like intense. There was a like uh, the retail price of this was a lot, so you had to be like very nerdy to like get into this and like use it properly. And so I was like, oh, he's going to do a compact version of that. So maybe it'll be a little smaller or whatever. Or who right. knows? Half that size. Maybe. Half that size. With the readout. With the LCD readout, which anytime something has an LCD screen, that's kind of scary. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. you know there's a lot involved. But yeah. nope. Classic boss format. Also, remember this guy? This is either an SYB three or five. I don't know which one it is. There's been a sticker on it for a thousand years, but the synth bass thing. But so back into the classic boss format, which I don't know how you feel about the boss pedal format, but this is the greatest pedal design that there will ever be. Oh, for the housing? This yes. is, the, you're never going to find a better one. And then, then there's other companies that have aped them in their design, usually Japanese companies. But like, come on, this is, I have, I have, look at this, look at this. I got to show you guys this. This is from, I'm old, so I'm about to show how old I am, but this is from 85. I mean, look at it. Never broken up. I, was, I, know I was two years old. <laughs> I know you snapped some, right? You've well, broken. But I, it takes I, a lot. I, I've never, yeah, it takes a lot. Like years, a decade of abuse, and maybe you can start to wear one of these down. But this right. is the greatest pedal format that there will ever be. Ever. Um, boss, the classic boss. Yeah. And the other thing about boss is like, so we got this and we were like, okay, synth pedal world, we know how this goes now. There's like, there's a lot of like homework you got to do to like, you know, read up on it, understand all the functions. That is never the case with boss in this format, right? Maybe on this thing, this is like, you got to do your homework to understand. Break out the manual, this. hit YouTube. Not this. This no. is plug it in. Turn some knobs and you have your sounds. Fuck with it. Yeah. Yes. Um, that's amazing. Um, we're we're doing synthesizer sounds, proper fucking synth sounds with a quarter inch cable. None of this like 13 pin converter MIDI pickup stuff, which I love all that. But I just think it's so crazy that you get all those sounds out of just plugging your guitar into this. Bass. Also... Go in the bass world. Yes, this thing does track. You're all gonna ask in the questions, does it track well? Of course it does, because boss is like, we gotta make sure if we come with it, it's gotta be lovely for the bass players. I was hitting super low endy stuff with the fretless tracking perfectly. So obviously Friday it'll be even better and easier. But yes, thing tracks super tight. Got this little switch for bass and guitar. Nick, what do you know about that? Well, I mean, there's a ton of controls. You yeah. wanna just I But mean, I just wanna say like Yeah, there's there's a switch up top that's yeah. for for the and if you read the manual, it just says some setting something about like some settings are better for guitar than bass or whatever. But actually, this this switch does a lot. Sometimes mm -hmm. it adds like a sub octave sound onto the guitar side of it or whatever. So, uh, but yeah, the controls are super simple on it. Everything about it is simple. Uh, expression pedal hold function. So there's a zillion sounds out of this thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven by eleven, 121 different sounds. And then actually double that because some the guitar and the bass kind of switch it up. I mean, there's just so many. And there's an effect send. There's a oh fucking... yeah, Nick lit me up because I was like, why does it have an effect send? Like, what is this? And Nick's like, why do you care? Who cares? But 
It's just because it's weird to me. But then Nick can quickly well, I'm just explain. saying, the reason that we have that conversation because we get this and look at this thing. Look at all the cool things that are on this. Oh, bell, bass, pad, lead, organ, SFX, sequencer. And I'm like, oh, that's crazy. There's 11 sounds per thing. And Juan's like, why is there a send and return on it? What does the send and return do? And I'm like... Yo, cause it's shit's weird to me. Like I want to know. I mean, that. I know they're gonna deliver here, but I'm like, what the fuck? What extra shit do I get that I don't normally get out of a pedal? Well, so what is it? And then it let's, is. Let's show you. Let's yeah, just we'll start playing it. this yeah, thing. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the Boss synthesizer SY1. It's extremely simple. Uh, set the. Let's go to the knobs up here. Effect and direct. Boss the stack knobs. I guess one thing that is kind of. Not great is I've, I smash off my stack knobs, unfortunately. I've smashed off one or two. And I have it, never, but that's amazing. I mean, this was like back in the day of like janky touring style. Like Thrashing. Probably this was in like a pedal board, a wooden pedal board in a suitcase or something. But anyways, <laughs> I do love the stack, stack knobs because you just get options, right? So uh, direct signal, affected signal. Then this stacker right here is a tone... Uh, slash rate and then depth basically this is like filter stuff um all it just kind of depends on what setting you're on sometimes this uh tunes the interval uh of the sound that you're on like you can go from basically i think a uh, octave below to an octave ab above depending on the sound um so yeah basically the, and these two kind of interact with one another so when you've got a sound going so just check this out which you could do what I'm doing right now with an expression pedal. Set, this sets the top of the expression pedal. Right? Okay, and then let's see what happens when you jack the depth knob. So it's kind of resonance, kind of the Q filter stuff. I don't know. It's it's all related to the filter, right? Most of it. Sometimes it's it's the speed of the sequencer that you got going, and sometimes it's uh, the interval, right? Okay, and then you go over here to the variation um, knob, selector knob, and there's 11 different sounds per sound, per... Uh, bank per type per synth type you got 11 different sounds per thing so it's extremely simple uh there's your expression pedal line uh you got your send and return so basically what you can do with that is run another pedal parallel to this that affects the direct line not the affected actual synth line so um you know my thing is i always play i like the direct out right <laughs> So I'll set this up in a second, but you can have it to where you have a whole other effect going into this that's affecting parallel, not stacked, um, your direct sound. So there you go. So um, in the different sound types, this is crazy. Lead, pad, bass, string, uh, organ, bell, sound effects, and sequencer. Isn't that simple? I mean, I mean, it's not, there's just like nothing, it's very bonehead. You just jump in and, you know. Well, let's jump in. All right, you want to, so now we'll hear some more sounds. So let's just go, uh, I think, I'll, actually, you know what I'll do? We we're talking about the switch on top, this guitar bass switch. I'll find a setting where that actually affects that you could clearly hear what it's doing. So let me get the direct out. <laughs> So that's on guitar right now. And that's on bass. You hear the difference, right? Tonally. It's not peaking or anything. Okay, yeah. So tonally, well, I guess the, the thought would be a bass is a way, obviously, uh, low. There's a lot more low end coming out of the bass, so they can have it a little brighter on the bass channel. But when you come to guitar, there's like a lower sound in there, right? Yeah, definitely. Tonally, yeah, it's a little, it's a different... It's a little uh, darker or whatever. There is more low end in it, but it's I on some of these settings there actually is like an, a lower sub octave. Let's see. That's a tone. Trash. 
tracks perfectly. There's not perfectly. One, there's not one. It, it, it's like polyphonic too. It's perfect. There's nothing funky about it. Uh, lead sound. It's fast. You know what I mean? Lightning fast. Well, sometimes, you know, the the thing that annoys is annoying is like when you get like Paul Gilbert could get on this pedal and shred on this pedal, right? That's definitely a fact. Play that harmonic mining you were playing. I don't know, what is it? I don't know. Is that close? It sounds diminished. <laughs> uh, let's go to the sequencer. Is really really cool. Is an example of something where this guy is gonna affect the rate of it. So, and again, I've got um, my little foot switch here, my expression pedal controlling the rate. <laughs> There's this funny, like, drum beat Yeah, snare. there's, like, a rhythm. There's actually, like, a thing. They have, like, a, a snare. Well, I guess maybe uh, they have, like, a, it's, you know, they created a snare out of, like, you how you would do with, like, the noise knob on a, you know, DAW program or something like that. But you can hear it. Yeah, so they got, like, little drum beats in there. Sorry. Watch. I'll, this, so there's a hold function, too, right? Still looks good, yeah. Dude, that sounds like noise. Yeah, it's kraut rock in a box. So cool. So, okay, so there's some of the sequencer stuff, and then the sound effects are really wild, too. Let's see. Nick, you know what that sounded like? What? Slee stack. Slee stack? Yeah. What is that? Before your time. What is it? Explain it. It's to a me. it's a crazy monster that was on some weird psychedelic drug ridden kids program, and the Slee Stacks had that sound. So then maybe this. Well, it sounds like to, this sounds like a Slee Stack, like maybe breathing. It sounds like vocally. That sounds like a yeah, sounds like a vocal cord. Yeah, right? totally. Def total vocoder sound. That's so insane. There you go. We'll leave that one. Uh, I'm sure I could figure out a way to use this sound. There's not another synth pedal that does that sound. Mm -mm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. 
So Nick, again, can I ask I, you, Nick? I'm using this mother okay. grubber right here to get the, the dives, right? But it would be the equivalent of doing this, right? Look at this. So it's a similar thing. So just so you know, that's how I'm getting a lot of the sounds. What, yeah. what did you want to ask me? Could you play a blues lick with that sound? This sound? Yeah. Maybe if you were to dial in some of the direct. For the lawyers out there, the ones that you love. So there's tons and tons of really, really cool sounds in here. Yo, okay, so here's the deal. So when you use, this is, <laughs> we're using two of the SY1s to demonstrate. Baller. This is why you gotta have two, right? You gotta pick up two of these Ballers. Things. So, okay, what we're doing is we're going out of this send on our main unit, going into the second SY1, coming out of this guy, out of the regular output and then sending it into the return. So now what's happening is um, we're running this parallel with this and this one is affecting the dry signal. Only. Only, not the um, the actual effect, right? So this is what it ends up sounding like. Uh, I have this one set for a bass, a low sound, and then this guy is, I don't know, a string maybe? And then I have the string tuned. So let me just show you what this actually sounds like. Okay, so we'll take the direct out. Here's my bass sound. In fact, I'm gonna chill. I wanna chill it a little bit, so I'm gonna do this. See how I was able to chill it? Yeah, you chilled it, you iced it. Well, see, I used the depth knob, right? So check it out. It's like how deep the filter is opening up, right? So here's my bass sound. Using my expression pedal. Uh, now let me take out the bass sound. Now I'm going to show you just by kind of mixing it out. Now I'm going to bring in my direct, uh, AKA my uh, effects loop send of the other S1. So here's what that sound is. And I have it tuned. I don't know what I have it tuned to. Maybe a fifth, a fifth above, like right? So here's, well, um, actually, actually, I could show you this because I could do, wow, this is getting like super meta. Okay, here's, uh, because I have the direct signal out of it on this one as well, but I could bring it in so you could hear. So that's oh, what's okay. happening there. So now we'll take out the dry guitar. So on this guy over here, I have the string sound. It's tuned to fifth up. Okay. Um, and I guess <laughs> in theory, then you could take another. You could stack these. Yeah. I you could just keep about. going. You could, you could have fucking 13 yeah. SY1 pedals and be tw or 11. Let's stick with the 11. Yeah, you could have eleven, and then I don't know. And then another eleven insane. on top. Yeah, so you could you could have it to where you could be running every single sound <laughs> that comes Christ. out of it if you had like two hundred pedals. And even that, it goes infinitely even crazier. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, so, but if we're just using two at the moment, that's what the sound is coming out of this guy, the little sidecar buddy. Okay. So there's that. So now I'm gonna come back over here and mix in the bass sound, and then guess what happens as soon as we mix in the bass sound. Magic. You fire your synth player. Yeah, we, we are definitely firing synth players. That's what Pedals and Effects is about.
So check it out. I'm going to tune it with this guy. You'll hear it. Um, let's bring it up a little more. Or no, that'd be this guy. Okay. <laughs> Hey, um, Nick, here's the thing. Think of it this way. The one on the left, or which would be your right in the screen, is the piano right hand. Mm, exactly. And then the exactly. one you're on is the piano left hand. Exactly. You see what we're saying? Out of here, yeah. Sip guys. You're out of a job. Okay, so just one more funny sound when you're kind of sending these into each other. This one is set up to do the little kind of cornball drum beat the electro drum beat, and then I've just got like a pad sound, or a, I guess another, I don't know what I have going on, strings maybe? But then, so it turns into this. So, here's what this dude sounds like alone. And what we did was we pitched the, the note so it's actually, because here's my, here's my G string. And then you're going to hear what note I'm actually doing. See how I pitched it? So here. And then adding dual synth sounds. So... tracking yes and so you really are making some dudes unemployed finally get those goofy dudes off with those keytars no you got a dude who looks super tough with a fretless fender bass and some couple of synth pedals i don't know man put the cash on us so again i always say this in these videos but like what you feed it affects obviously your uh, outcome and now I just switch to this front pickup now I'm gonna switch to the back pickup and hit those same notes I mean it's kind of close but whatever here oh I had the tone up right I'm tearing up my little amp over here. So anyway, there's that. All right, then I'll, now I'm rocking it like it, like it's got the uh, sawtooth tremolo on it. <laughs> 
Alright, here we go, Krautrock. <laughs> 